Recording in progress. Okay, so we'll start with topic one, form four, chapter two. So this is very popular question in school exams, SPM, all this. So for heating curve, cooling curve, right? Uh, first, you need to know that uh, our original experiment is to heat the naphthalene. So we we'll heat, so you actually turn from solid and at the middle here will be solid plus liquid and then here will be liquid. Then uh, it will stop at a certain temperature. So this temperature will be the melting point. So uh, exam, examiner will assume that you know that the, the melting point of naphthalene is 80 Celsius. So you have to memorize this. So um, uh, we will need to use water bath because if you direct heat with fire, let's say you take a fire direct heating without the water bath, right? The temperature will be about um, uh, uh, three to 500 Celsius. So at a very high temperature, because naphthalene is flammable, direct heating might cause fire. So in this case, uh, to be for safety purpose, right, we will heat the water because uh, water is, uh, boiling point is 100 Celsius, so it will be much more lower temperature. So the risk of uh, caught fire will be very small. And if you direct heating below here, right, bottom will be very hot, but the side is not hot. But if you heat the water, let the water heat the boiling tube. So it will be like more evenly lah, rather than only bottom is hot, then on top is not hot. So the call this as to ensure even heating. Then if more than 100 Celsius, you do replace because water maximum uh, for the boiling point is about 100 Celsius. So to more than 100 Celsius, you will replace with the oil or sand bath. Then uh thermometer. Now, so if you heat die, if you heat using water bath, right, the site will be hot. Okay, the site will be hot, but the middle will be cold because site is direct direct contact with the, the water outside. So if you put your thermometer here, the temperature won't be so accurate. If you put it in the middle, it will be cold, uh, slightly lower temperature. The site will be higher temperature. So to ensure this, you need to stir the solution. So when you stir the solution, the whole liquid will be the same temperature. So stir continuously to ensure that um the 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 to ensure the temperature is uniform so this is the idea then uh cooling also similar cases that you have to ensure the conical fast is used to make the uh, even cooling then also minimize the loss heat loss surrounding so same from liquid right it will change into solid so this will be solid plus liquid then we move on to the questions. Um, what is the purpose of using water bath? So this is the answer. Water bath method help to distribute the heat evenly. So it's to ensure that even heating. So moreover, the, the naphthalene is flammable substance. So why do we need to stir? So it's to distribute the heat evenly and ensure the temperature of the naphthalene is uniform. So why the temperature remain constant during heating? So you explain this, why the temperature not changing during the uh, heating process. Okay, so during the heating process, right? Okay, the idea is this. Um, they always ask about this part. Okay, ask about this part. So the heating continues, a continue heat, but the heat has disappeared. So they will ask you about this why temperature um remain the same and the, the heat is missing. So during uh when during melting, the solid turning into liquid. Okay, let's say this is the solid. They turn it into liquid. So we turn into liquid, right? You need to um overcome the force of attraction. I mean, you need to separate them to become liquid. So when you separate them to become liquid, you actually need to need some energy to separate them to overcome the force of attraction. So then you're able to from solid turn into liquid. The why the explanation here is the temperature ring constants because the heat energy absorbed by the particle is used to overcome the force of attraction. Means from the solid, they separate to become liquid so that the solid turn into liquid. Uh, so this is the, the question you need to answer. Lah. Then, um, so here is written here, the energy absorbed by the particle is used to overcome the force of attraction between particle, so that the solid turns into liquid. So this is a very popular question in exam. So technically, they always ask this question. Okay, so if I turn it to the naphthalene and change it to sulfur, which is 114, can the melting point determine using the water bath? The answer is no, because the boiling point of water is 100 Celsius, and it's not high enough to melt the sulfur. So you should replace it with uh, oil bath. Lah. Then this is the cooling curve, uh, heating curve. So it will stop at 80 Celsius. 
Then for cooling, <clears throat> what is mean by freezing point? It's a constant temperature which a liquid turn into a solid at a specific threshold. So you need to mention a lot of students in the exam they forgot to write constant temperature is the very important keywords, and then must mention at the specific pressure because uh at different gas pressure, atmosphere pressure, uh it will have different uh melting point and boiling point because the higher the pressure, the melting point will be higher. So uh, you need to write at a specific pressure. So why definitely is stir slow continuously? So same, same with the heating, to dissipate the heat evenly to ensure the temperature of the, of the, of the naphthalene is uniform. Okay, the naphthalene is uniform. Then after that, to also avoid supercooling. Now, what is supercooling? Supercooling happens when um, the temperature drops very fast because the cooling process is too fast. So it will uh, drop below the melting point. It's just like your, your car drive too fast, not enough time to break. It will overshot here. Then, of course, you, you can reverse back your car. Okay, so this is called supercooling. This only happens when the cooling process is too fast. So if you stir the solution, the cooling process is very slow. You'll get a very beautiful graph that you won't get any supercooling graph. Lah. Okay, so uh, then after that, uh, same, why the temperature will remain the same during the freezing? So during freezing, right, why the temperature will remain the same is because this is liquid, this is solid, this is uh, solid plus liquid. Right? So for just now, from solid to liquid, you actually absorb heat energy to overcome the fossil attraction. Yeah, example from now, you're from solid. You want to change to liquid. You need some energy to separate them to become liquid. So in this case, here to here is adsorb heat. So now the body process from liquid is changing to solid. For liquid changing to solid, it will release heat. So the heat loss to surrounding is balanced by the heat energy absorbed. A uh, heat energy release when they attract one another to form solid. So uh if you draw it out like this, say uh, let's say I'll draw out the conical uh draw draw out the boiling tube. So uh now you have heat loss. Let's say 100 joule. Okay, so now what happened here is during so the temperature is supposed to drop here temperature is supposed to drop normally lah. but during freezing process right when heat lost 100 joule at the same time the liquid changing to solid freeze to become solid and this process it actually release heat so let's say, let's say it release 100 joule as well so the heat release same with the heat loss that's why the temperature now change to no change unchanged so here written now, why temperature remain uh, during the freezings? So heat loss is surrounding this part, loss 100 Joule, is balanced by the heat released 100 Joule as the particle and attract one another to form a solid. Then uh, you can try this question, a minus question, uh, what is mean by melting point? Same, it's just uh, freezing is from liquid become back solid. So for this, also a constant temperature, which uh the solid turn into liquid go typo here as a timeline okay what is the purpose of using water bath in this experiment water bath help to uh distribute the heat evenly to ensure uh even heating stick in another chemical that can use this so uh you need to know naphthalene and acetamide both you can use water bath because their melting points both are about 80 Celsius. Okay, so if I use uh, sodium nitrate is heated, heat sodium nitrate and the melting point is 1, 310, can you use this to determine using the water bath? So the answer is no, because the boiling point of water is 100, it's not high enough to melt the sodium nitrate. You can change to uh, oil bath. Why temperature remain the same? So you can explain here. Lah because the, the heat adsorb is used to overcome the fossil attraction. So the solid turn into liquid. So one you need to stir, 
so you can write uh, to ensure the temperature, uh, the heat is distributed evenly and ensure the temperature at stomach is uniform. And what, uh, what is the freezing point? Okay, so they'll give you the temperature that from the liquid changing to solid. So this is liquid plus solid. Uh. So this temperature where the constant temperature will be your your freezing point. So you need to write uh, T2 Celsius. So the temperature between the Q and I is constant, so you can explain that. Uh, because the heat loss to surroundings is exactly balanced by the heat release as the particle attract one another to form a solid. Then uh, for this, the question that you need to know. Uh, melting point is a uh, solid turned into liquid. Boiling point is liquid turned into gas. So room temperature is 25 Celsius. So how to make sure it is to know the physical states. So you can see that 25 is more than 183. Negative 183 means this chemical already melt to become liquid. Also more than negative 89, also uh, boil already become gases. Then for this, uh, 25 is more than 15, so it already melt to become liquid. But it not yet reach 70, means it remains as liquid. So the physical state is liquid. Then for here, 25 is less than 900, means this R is not yet melt. So it means it remains solid. So the physical states will be this three. 